Everything that you and I, 806 people that are watching right now, everything you and I said was correct. Everything that was espoused by the federal government, that was dictated to us, that was mandated to us during COVID was absolutely wrong. Breaking Gilead Sciences. Now, who do they have a financial partnership with? Let me see. Oh, Anthony Fauci, that's right. Gilead Sciences has announced a recall of its antiviral drug. Remdesivir has now been recalled. Just remember this now. Prior to this recall, which, oh, I don't have the date on it. This is from, uh, this is from the last show. So from yesterday or the day before. So prior to, let's just, let's, let's, let's give it a big uh, uh, grace period here. Let's just say prior to Wednesday, the only government approved, the only acceptable by the medical community treatment for COVID inside of a hospital was the drug that's now been recalled. It's just like, it's just like Nathan Wade is now on the run, you know? <laughs> Everything's a fraud. It's all a fraud. The only accepted hospital protocol treatment for COVID-19 has now been recalled. Remdesivir has a 53% mortality rate, and Anthony Fauci was telling everybody to take it for COVID. That, that's his clinical trials. His clinical trials, of course, conducted in Africa, killed 53% of the people that took remdesivir, causing organ failure. You're wondering how, you're wondering, you, you, have you ever noticed that nobody died of COVID in their home? You, Aaron, you notice that? Mm -hmm. Nobody died of COVID in their home. Where, where, where were the, uh, you know, the body snatch, we used to call them that law enforcement, it's a little bit uh, indelicate, but, you know, wh where, where were the, uh, the, uh, the, the refrigerator trucks, where were the, I don't know what to call them, body trucks, the hearse, whatever you want to call them, body trucks, coming to pick up all the dead bodies of people who died of COVID in their homes. Where did, it, where did everybody die of COVID? In the hospital after being treated with remdesivir. I had a friend of mine named Charlie killed with remdesivir. Went in the hospital for a kidney stone and died of, of organ failure. How do you die of organ failure from a kidney stone? Because he went in there, they jammed, PCR test, 97% false positive, up his nose, and then started treating him for COVID with remdesivir. Why did we have nobody being picked? Why didn't we have... Uh, Body snatcher trucks going all over the country picking up dead bodies. Why were the bodies outside? Of, why were all the dead bodies coming out of hospitals? I mean, imagine having a 53% mortality rate in your clinical trials and you're Anthony Fauci and you push for remdesivir to be the sole hospital treatment for COVID-19. The sole approved hospital protocol for COVID-19. When he knows that it has a 53% mortality rate. This is the same medication they forced on us while preventing us, while preventing us from using hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin. Show the big, the big pick. This is from Newsweek. Newsweek, so you know it's not just right-wing conservatives. COVID treatment recall issue after glass was found in the drug. I think that might cause mass organ failure when you actually inject glass. They want to talk about calling us a bunch of cultists saying that we want to inject bleach, which Trump never said, just like he never said thing about Charlottesville. They always claim that Trump says things that he never says, and then gaslight it over and over again, and then you end up with all these idiot Democrats. It's like a mantra, Charlottesville, uh, inject bleach, none of which was ever said by Donald Trump. So it's a little bit of a problem when glass is in the sole approved protocol for the treatment of COVID-19 while somebody's hospitalized. Unbelievable.